This is Ling Chi Ye brush painting for beginners. And the last session we did uh, uh, teach you a simple tree. So I hope that from that you have done a bunch of tree practice. Now we can go from the finished tree to add on. And if you didn't do it, go back to check our last YouTube video about painting the trees. Um, this one, we have the tree done ahead of time, and then we got a mountain, and we got some ground cover here. And then the mountain, there are some line work and some colors. This You can see there's three variations, light, medium, and dark. So we'll address that. And then uh, on the ground, there's light green grass and then little trees to add on from the this tree we done last time and then um, we are going to do two brushes um, this one is our uh, full moon and then this one is our large full moon and uh, if you don't have them you can use mountain horse uh, brush to replace the um, full moon and then you can use the uh, large combination brush to replace the large full moon and we have uh, um, that was it those two brushes first up uh, um, we're going to have this full moon brush and um, so I want to show you how to do the line work. So it's very dry brush. By the way, this done was on a pea paper. And so the line work is on the side of brush. So practice on a spare P paper and to do this dry brush look. And then we use our large full moon to do the shape. So you can load the green. Make sure not loading too full, too high. So you will have some um, clear area so you can see from the dark to fade and now we're going to get started so I have this tree that I done it ahead of the time And then I'm going to have my full moon brush, load the ink. So very simple line work, just around here. And then from this side to this side of the tree. Okay, and then the up the big mountain near the tree side is more vertical line. And then away from the tree is more horizontal tilted. So we're going to do the
there's the fork. And then there's another line here. And then this here. Okay, and then now we are going to use our um, large fumu. We are loading with the green. So we will do the upper lighter area. And then our medium color, which is green, loaded with indigo and mix. Going out with indigo and mix. All right, and then we'll, the darkest color, which is tip the same brush. I didn't wash it, I just tip with ink. And then I Make it lighter to wash. To connect the dark with the light. And then So leave some white areas to show the light going through. And then the large full moon brush, we're going to do some little tree down here. So then we finish this composition.
we did some trees like this and then now we're going to add the rest of it underneath the house and some ground cover um first then um we're going to use um our full moon brush if you don't have full moon you can use mountain horse Make sure the brush is dry and then you dip into some ink. And then, so the line work is this way. And um, then the next brush we're going to use is the large Fumu for the ground cover. So we load the green and then We'll use that to wash. And then we will have a um, happy dot for the little house that we're going to do here. So you need a small, precise brush. And uh, it's an A-frame. And then here. And then you have a little dot here for the window. And then doors. So this is what the hoppy dot used for. And then we'll use vermilion for the rooftop. All right. So now we're going to get started. So this is going to be our finished work. And then we will have, we will use our full moon brush for the line work. Dry brush, make sure it's dry. So then we will have from the grounds. Connect. And on this side, it's the same thing, but a little bit on the steeper. So we have A little heel here for the house it's going to be at. This is where the house is going to be sit. And then a V. And then underneath here is a Okay, I'm going to use Happy Dot for the house, which I demonstrated a little bit earlier. Lighter ink for the house. I'm going to do a A-frame. Little dot for the window here and the door here. All right, and then we're going to use our large full moon brush. Load the um, green. A 
little darker underneath. Some green here. And then we'll have some orchid. You can use the companion set for the orchid, or you can use um, green with vermilion. So then we will do a little bit the ground. And then to ground this, you know, right now there's no dark, so it look like floating. So you wanted to add a little ink to the tip. And then you are. So ground it. So then there's three layers of colors. So show the interest. And then you tip with the dark ink for the little tree around. So we have a little tree here. And now we use the happy dog with a little vermilion for the rooftop. Okay, then we finish the composition. Mm -hmm.